My future self is going to thank my current self for putting this meal in the freezer. I'm getting ready to freeze some food that I already cooked and it is pot roast. I always go back and forth in my mind if this is beef stew, pot roast. Um, it's pot roast. I roasted it in a pot, so it's pot roast. That's what we're gonna go with. There's some broth, there's some egg noodles on top because we ate those last night for dinner. But I don't think we're gonna get to finish all of this food in the amount of time that I would like to finish it. So I'm gonna freeze some. I'm gonna vacuum seal it and I'm gonna freeze it so it's like a ready to go meal. I've been focusing on getting some ready to go meals ready. I just, I guess I just know myself that if we have a really fun, exciting day, I might not have the mental or physical energy to make a full meal in the evening. So I'm making a few ready to go meals. And they are in the freezer. So I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this or some of it. I'll probably leave out like one or two portions for probably for Peter for lunch today or that sort of thing. And one of my favorite food hacks that I've been doing lately is I go to a store, like a grocery store. You won't even believe it, a grocery store. I go to a grocery store and I look in their meat section and you know how if meat is about to be like the best buy date or the sell by date rather, if the store needs to get it off the shelf, they will sometimes put a manager's special sticker on it with a discounted rate or a coupon. Like if you go to Target in the meat section, you sometimes see $3 off coupons on the package of meat. Or uh, yeah, like I said, other grocery stores, it says manager special. And so recently I was like, I really like to eat roast beef or pot roast or whatever, pot roast, let's call it pot roast. And I want to eat more pot roast in my life. And I enjoy making pot roast. I love that it like simmers in the pot. The way I've been doing it is I put it in this Dutch oven with the lid on and I put it in the oven and it only takes a few hours. <sighs> um, so every week, I've been going to a grocery store, typically something other than Aldi, because Aldi is where we go for everything, but they rarely have their meat on clearance. And the one time I did find it on clearance, I realized later it did not ring up the clearance price. I was like, meh, it's not worth going in for $3 off or whatever. And I just, I knew that I wouldn't remember the next time we went. Okay, so I find my, my piece of meat, whatever kind of beef is on sale. This time it was like a sirloin steak. I don't care what it is. If it's going to simmer for a long time in the pot, it doesn't matter what kind of beef it is, in my opinion. So then I come home, I see what I have in my pantry or my little turnaround cupboard under here, the corner cabinet. Potatoes, I had one potato this time. I have endless amounts of carrots, so I chopped up a whole bunch of carrots. I chopped up an onion and I put it all in there. I usually do beef broth, which typically is a cup of water with a bouillon cube. A couple cups of that, Worcestershire sauce, mustard, and this time, I don't cook often with wine, but I decided I wanna try to cook with wine. So I think I was watching a recipe recently that was like a um, shepherd's pie, and she was cooking with wine, and I was like, oh, Yes, I've heard that that makes stuff taste good. So Peter found like miniature wines so that I could just cook with it and I don't need like a whole bottle or whatever. So I did put wine in it this time. I don't know if I can even tell the difference in the taste. So I don't know that that was worth it. But yeah, and then I just cook it in the oven and it tastes really good. So I'm gonna freeze this. It'll be a ready to go meal. I think what I'll do is I'll freeze the, the meat and the carrots and if there are any potatoes left. <laughs> and then I'll freeze the 
gravy part separate probably because when I vacuum seal it if there's a, mu a bunch of liquid in there it just kind of like vacuums it out and into the machine which is not helpful at all so I'm just gonna do the basically just the meat and the carrots all right I am going to think my future or my future self is going to thank my current self for putting this meal in the freezer oh look a chicken pot pie You should take them with you. You guys want to go hang out with Peter? Okay. He's going to go study. Okay. All right. Elijah's taking a nap. Mary's going to do some chores around the house. I am working on a... Mary maybe said this to you. I think we've talked about it. I'm working on a... I'm speaking four times for a men's retreat. Uh, let's see, when is it? Keys, wallet, phone. Keys, wallet, phone. I don't have my wallet. I should <laughs> probably grab that. Mary is my perpetual reminder of my keys, wallet, and my phone. Anyways, I'm speaking at a men's retreat. Neighbors are getting yard work done. Okay, I gotta work on the messages for those. It's not this weekend, but the following weekend. I'm speaking at a church a couple hours away this weekend. Lots going on in life right now, so. I'm gonna go like sit at a coffee shop for like an hour and a half, bust out some work. Okay, I am home. I got a lot of work done. Good. Did you guys have fun? We went on a walk. Aww. And I almost went in my neighbor's house and asked for a cup of water. Oh, I'm you're so, so thirsty. thirsty. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad feeling. Sometimes when I'm in the middle of like the neighborhood, it's like a mile walk and I'm like, either I have to go to the bathroom or I'm really thirsty. I do, or the other day, we were walking, did you see it was raining while we were walking the other day? <laughs> no. I stood under somebody's tree for a while. <laughs> they were but, probably watching you. Yeah, probably. But we were having some friends over for dinner and Mary put together, she made, oh, did you show them making the chicken? No, I may have mentioned it. Okay, she made like pulled chicken in the instant pot and then I've got it like heating up in the cast iron skillet. Delish. Oh, no, it's just, it's okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, there we go. I think where we left off was that our friends were pulling up. I was getting a phone call, and Peter was showing you our food. Our friends came. We had such a fun time. And sometimes I get a craving or a desire to make a pudding pie. And that is what's happening tonight. How often does that happen? Not super often. Wait, you're putting banana? This is vanilla pudding. Oh. With some chocolate mixed in because I didn't want to wash the bowl in between chocolate and vanilla pudding. Okay, it looked like banana. <laughs> you sounded really concerned. It's like, it does not look like something you would like. <laughs> Do you mind holding the camera because I oh, need yeah. to hold the bowl? Okay, so you're making like a Boston cream filling? For the top layer. This is good Sometimes stuff you're you just making. Need, yeah, and I made homemade whipped cream. Nice. So it's like a creamy, whippy top. Tonight, while our friends were here for dinner, we laughed so hard. And sometimes it's just good to have a really good laugh. It was a very good laugh. You know? It definitely was not a story about my fart. <laughs> <laughs> definitely hey, not. It was, there were shared shared stories shared of... gas experiences from all involved yes so i was not alone mm -hmm. it's always good to know you're not alone in your digestive woes oh man but yeah it's like it's such a good thing to have a good laugh every now and then i, I reckon it should be every day every day don't forget to laugh every day don't forget to laugh every day. Okay, here is something that I think is kind of strange. Okay. Okay, I was working on the store the other day, and I realized that we've never made a shirt that says, don't forget to laugh every day. 
And that is the original saying. We've made laugh every day shirts. Oh, but we've never funny. made one that says don't forget to laugh every day. That's funny. And I'm like, we probably should get on that. Yeah, probably. Anyways, look at this pudding pie. So do you have to let that chill now, or is it like we, ready for consumption? We are the ones who make up the pudding rolls. Okay. So what do you think? Well, I just ate a bowl of cereal because I didn't realize that you were making pudding pie. But I feel like there's always extra space in your stomach for pudding pie. That's why I say about ice cream and coffee. Mmm. Mm. Tastes good? Really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I approve. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Maybe we put it in the fridge for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Let it, let it, let it set. Today, when I was out at a coffee shop working on my messages for the retreat I'm doing in a couple weeks, I got a cold brew soda. Oh, did you? Lemon basil cold brew soda. You are crazy. It was really good. I would not usually venture into the realm of a little too creative with coffee, but it was it was it was nice. It was nice. And I am very very thankful for coffee. It's 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 a good good gift of God. Anyways, guys Thanks for tuning in for another day in the fry life. And, as always, see ya. See you next time. Harry, do you want to end it? Or Ollie, do you want to? Oh, wait, where's Ollie? Is he on the couch? Ollie, you want to end the vlog? Say goodnight to the people. See ya.